gonna do my intro quite yet but i did want to talk about my first stop on monday during my trip pontilly coffee it's a neighborhood coffee shop it's so swanky and cute the ladies behind the counter knew so many patrons by name and i really really love that homey vibe and the outdoor seating area was absolutely mesmerizing i was Felt like I was sitting in a garden, and I just absolutely loved it. So I got the Moroccan mint tea and the Southwest chicken, the latte. It was really good. Hello, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. So by the title, you see where I'm at. Um, it took me all day to get my rental. I don't even want to talk about that shit. But I'm on my way to the mall. I got to go to Sephora. And like I told y'all before, this is an all-food channel, so... So, sorry. So, yes, y'all gonna be eating with me during my trip. All snacks and goodies and beverages. So, yes, I'm on my way to the mall. I'm gonna take y'all a little, um, you know, other places. But it's gonna be mostly food. So, yes, I'm excited for this birthday trip. This is, like, my favorite place to spend my birthday, apparently. Um, so, yes. We gonna get into it. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned. All right, y'all. We going to this place called Mondays. They got all day happy hour on Monday, so. I'm super excited. It's my little outfit. It's a little chilly out here. So, I'm going to show y'all when we get inside. All right, y'all. Let's get into Monday Restaurant and Bar. Because as soon as you walk up, it's just so green and vibrant. And it's just like a nice, fun hangout spot. Definitely... I mean, it's all ages, but, like, the music that they play is definitely, like, for a younger crowd. The music was absolutely excellent. Honestly, every place I went to, the music was popping. I did like the menu. Mondays, they have all-day happy hour. The rest of the week is 4 to 7. All right, y'all. I'm in the restaurant, but the music playing, so... I'm just happy to show y'all what I get when I get to the table. So far, I only ordered a cocktail, so I'll show y'all when I get here. But it's a really nice atmosphere. So like I said, y'all, it has a very trendy, laid back environment. It has the garage door uh, windows. So I know in the summer and they open it up, it's just, it turns into like this big open space. This is the hibiscus martini. It was so fruity and light at the same time. Just like puckered in my mouth. It was so good. Definitely in my top two cocktails during this trip. Definitely got to uh, try that again. Um, so for my meal, I got the Bienville, which is the name of a street. It is the crawfish etouffee um, served with a piece of catfish. They could have fried the catfish a little harder. And then I had the Brussels sprouts and uh, so good. I, I think it was like a miso glaze. Don't quote me on that. But those Brussels sprouts were excellent. Oh, so good. I could just taste them now. So, so good.
these honey were the star of the show the sweet potato beignets and they surprisingly were not that sweet like they weren't super sweet because i'm not really into sweets all like that but they weren't overly sweet they were so good y'all these are like my favorite things from this restaurant that i try okay y'all i just wanted to show y'all real quick what i got from sephora I got the finishing powder. I have a brow gel by Anastasia. I have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. It is so good. I'm so excited about this. Oh my God. The Makeup Forever HD Skin right. Hydro Glow foundation i'm telling you it's giving glass skin so i wanted to try a new foundation this is the one i'm trying and i absolutely love it i tried it in the store definitely a good purchase and my birthday gift this year from sephora youth to the people it has a superfood cleanser that has kale and green tea spinach and it has a superfood air wet moisture cream and a super berry hydrate and glow dream mask. So, yes, y'all, real quick, these are a couple of things I picked up today. Yeah. Good afternoon, y'all. Tell me why. I told y'all how I'm still like a little under the weather. But tell me why I woke up sick as a dog, y'all. Congested, chest hurting. I'm feeling a little better, but I'm just starting my day. I'm about to do some sightseeing. I kind of want to go to the art museum or just see some art. And then um, we're about to get our eat on. I don't know where I want to go. I know where I want to go for dinner. And this is what I have on today. My little orange jumpsuit. I'm going to try to get some pictures. Um... But yeah, so I'm just now starting my day. It's two o'clock. So yeah, that's that's what's going on. I had to wake up, cough and take medicine and lay down a little while. I'm just so irritated that this is what's happening on my birthday trip, but whatever. I'm making the best of it. At least I look good. My eyes a little puffy, but I'm fighting through it, y'all. It's hot today, too. It's so hot. I love it. It feels so good. So, yeah. Stay tuned. I'm going to get some food soon, and I'm going to be back with y'all. Sun Chong is a black-owned, Asian-inspired restaurant. It is non-traditional, so don't go in there thinking you're going to get the typical Asian dishes. I started with the I Love You. The drink was so good. Y'all saw the look on my face. It literally stunned me. Um, then I started with the Baco Shrimp Bao Buns. The Bao Buns were a little on the tough side, so I was a little disappointed. Then the rice bowl wasn't that great. But the seafood ramen pasta was definitely my favorite thing on the table. It was so good and it was spicy. Then the veggie dumplings. Um, I, I wish they were crispier and I just, I don't know, they lacked a little bit. And then we stopped by Hamani. I was so fatigued. So the day was short. We just stopped here for drinks. And because I wasn't feeling well, I was getting full so fast. So I didn't get to like binge eat how I planned on this trip. But this seems like a really nice place. Next time I'm in New Orleans, I'm definitely going to try some of their food. And yeah, I just got a drink. Y'all, oh my God, I had the roughest day with this cold or whatever the fuck is going on with me. So I didn't do a lot of like recording, but um... You know, you all saw me, what I ate for lunch today. So, I'm about to go out on bourbon. Hopefully, I'm feeling good. My outfit is really cute. I'm really just trying to make the best of this shit, y'all. Like, I feel like shit. But, I'm here and I leave on Thursday. So, and it's Tuesday night. So, we trying to make the best of it. So, stay tuned. I'm about to meet up with my one friend on bourbon. And we're about to kick it. I'm about to try to kick it as long as I can. It's 9.30 right now. 
So I'm going to show you the little spots that we hit up. Stay tuned. But I do look cute. <laughs> So our very first stop was at this karaoke bar and then we went to Saturn Bar, which was so dope. They were dancing and it was Latin music. They was doing salsa. And then this bar, I don't even know where the, like the name of this place, but it was it was real like it is usually popping, they said, but I don't know, it was a stale night, um, but we was just bar hopping. I think I went to like six bars, had like 10 drinks. This is Turtle Bay. It was really, really late at this point, so I just got some wings and fries. I didn't do a lot of recording because I was really with my friend, and I missed him so much, and we was he was twerking at the red light, and everything it was my gay friend, and I just loved him and, and just loved being around him, so I just was in the moment, y'all, but we had so much fun, and I got in the house so late. Good morning, y'all. This is my last... Well, this it's not even morning time. It's almost 4 o'clock. I just got up. I ain't get in the house, well, in my room until 8 o'clock this morning, y'all. I'm so... I had so much fun last night. I went bar hopping. I did not record everything. I just wanted to live in the moment because, you know, this is my last day. So, that was like my last full night. So, I'm going to show y'all my room. It's really cute. This bed is so comfortable. I did not want to get up. Like, and I just got done packing up shit. It's the bathroom. So cute. Mirror. And this is my little space. So I'm about to get dressed. I'm about to meet my friend at his job so I can get something to eat. And then I'm going out tonight. I'm probably, I'm, I got to get up at like 5 to go to the airport, take my rental back, and then my flight leave at 7.30, so I'm probably not going to stay out no later than midnight, and uh, yeah, I've been having so much fun, though. Even though I've been so sick, y'all, this trip was just not how it was supposed to go. I was just not feeling well, but I made the best of it, and I got, I actually got some, um, some, um, what you call that? Sinus medicine, that really helped me a lot. I got something last night, so. Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, stay tuned. Um, next time y'all see me, I'm going to be at the food spot. <laughs> So as y'all see from the outside of this place, this is Vessel Noah. Hey, boo. That's my boo, Jeremy. I miss him so much already. We That's who I went out with the night before. We lived, okay? But yes, the, aesthetically, I wasn't feeling this place. It was just really dark and just like it's an old church. It just wasn't fun and vibrant. Um, but the menu, the menu is really, really good. This is definitely a top tier situation that they have going on. Okay, so I started with the Corpse Reviver number two, a gin martini. Um, I didn't really like it that much. Um, and she actually had to remake it. Um, yeah, it didn't impress me whatsoever. And then I got the fish dip, which is like, why would I get dip? I'm not really a dip girl. So it's like, I really wasted that. That shrimp cake, though, um, my friend Jeremy actually told me to get that. So I got that. And it was so good, y'all. I never had, like, a shrimp cake. It was really, really good, though. But I'm just like, ugh, this environment for me was just like, I don't know. It's crazy. Like, to have a restaurant in an old church. It's just, I don't know. It's just very different. But the fish dip was okay. It's not anything that I could just eat, like, for an extended amount of time. Like, a couple little bites. But that shrimp cake was so good. I am I was getting so full so fast. So, I feel like I wasted a lot of food during this trip. I just, I couldn't finish anything. And it just was breaking my heart. 
But baby, if you know about the New Orleans barbecue shrimp, then you know, okay? Because that was it. It was so, so, so good. It was better than I remembered it. Like, my first time having it, it was, like, better. And then the grilled asparagus, which was so flavorful. That's probably some of the best asparagus that I didn't make, like, that I had at a restaurant. Because I hooked up some asparagus. But... Everything was really good here. Like I said, I, I just, I got to give it like a 7 out of 10 because I just really wasn't a fan of the environment. And then I got uh, a second cocktail, the Tequila Old Fashion, which was so good, y'all. I'm going to start drinking these at home. All right, y'all. So the last thing y'all saw was me at the Vessel Nola. But y'all, I came back here. I was supposed to go out with my friend Jeremy when he got off work. But I um I ended up falling asleep, y'all. But I needed it. I, I cannot believe I came in at 8 o'clock in the morning the night before. So... I got to get up at 5. It's like after midnight. Um, so I had went to just go put gas in the car because I got to take the rental back in the morning. And, um, and yeah, so I got me a little, a little wing pack from the gas station. Like, yes, I'm from Cleveland. Of course I eat gas station chicken. Like, duh. Um, but I had so much fun. I, I, I'm not going to say I had so much fun, but I did. I was able to still enjoy myself. <coughs> Ugh, even though I wasn't feeling well, I did still try to make the best of it, but I was so fatigued and I didn't really have a lot of energy. So it's like I slept in, I got out the house late and got in early, except for the other night when I got in this bitch at eight o'clock in the morning. Like I'm a fucking mother. Like what am I doing? But I had fun that night though. So I can't wait to finish editing this vlog. I should have it up. Um, if not tomorrow when I get home, it'll be a Friday. Um, I'll have to work tomorrow evening. I got to be there at five, which I'm so thankful. I land at like 1245. Hopefully it's earlier, but I'm definitely getting a nap in. And I'm just excited to be going back home. I miss my babies. They were sick too. So I just been really thinking about them. And, and then they dad is sick. Um, so we just some sick mofos. Um, but yeah, I'm about to just have a little hydration. I kind of want to take this PM sinus pill, but I feel like it might make me sleep too hard. So, I got me some Powerade, some water. Yeah, I'm about to eat my little wings. And then, um, when I fly out, I have a, a hour um, overlay in Nashville. So, I am I don't even care that it's first thing in the morning. I'm getting me some barbecue if they have some at that airport. Um, I don't remember if I ever had an overlay in Nashville. I feel like maybe I did once. I don't I don't remember though, but um I don't think I ate anything there. So stay tuned for that. It's still a little bit of content for this vlog. Um I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. Today is March 25th, y'all. This vlog was supposed to come out like the day or the day after I got back home. But um, I've just been really busy with homework. I had to catch up on so much homework. And then um, working, I've been, I went to work as soon as I landed. Like I took a little nap and then I had to go to work that night. Um, but the last thing y'all saw uh, was me getting ready to go back home and I was supposed to have some barbecue at the airport but I ran into somebody I know from here um and she lived there now and she's actually the general manager at one of the um places in the airport so she ended up buying me lunch and so and it wasn't barbecue so I just didn't show it 
and um yeah so it was just it was a nice trip it was nice to get away i was sad that i was sick i didn't get to have as many experiences as i wanted to have but it was nice to go back to new orleans in a more positive uplifted spirit like when i lived there for those several months i was just so miserable and heartbroken and i just had a lot of weight on my shoulders and to be able to like move past that and grow past that and just um do a lot of introspection and get myself together and just be a better woman and a more positive woman for myself and my kids it just was nice to be able to go back and and see people um that i haven't seen since i left and you know so it was good in that aspect um but i still do want to talk about my living experience in new orleans so that video is definitely coming but this video is about to come y'all like i cannot believe it took me this long but thank you to everybody supporting me i haven't been doing content or anything because i just had to come back and just get right back into the swing of things like i wasn't even going that long what a few days and just like stuff got just completely out of whack with the kids i had to get them back on their routine and like i said homework and uh, work so thank you to everybody who watched this vlog i wish it was more things to see and more exciting but my next vlog i'm 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 trying to stay consistent but it is a lot going on in my life being a full-time mother student and being employed and then trying to like follow my dreams so it is a lot and i feel like i'm a slack sometimes but uh, for the most part i really do love making food content and sharing things with you all so i'm just trying i'm trying to stay consistent y'all bear with me but make sure you like share comment and subscribe and stay tuned for the next vlog it will be out soon make sure to follow my instagrams everything will be down below um again thank you so much for watching see you next time thanks for watching